retroviruses replicate by invading the cells of host organisms, converting their RNA genomes into DNA and inserting, integrating in the jargon, the DNA into the DNA of the host cell. The integrated DNA is called a provirus. The host cell then reads the provirus, converting it back into RNA, resulting in the production of more viruses. Retroviruses tend to target certain types of cells. Their environment proteins tend to be specialised to attach to the surfaces of these cells. The integration into the host DNA is made by a retroviral enzyme called integrase. While certain retroviruses can show a general tendency to insert their DNA in certain types of regions in a host cell's DNA, they do not target specific points or loci. This means that in an infected individual, not all cells will be infected, and in those that are, the retroviral integration will be in a different place or places in the DNA of each cell. We find in the genomes of creatures such as ourselves and chimpanzees inherited structures that cannot be anything but the remnants of retroviral insertions. Some are more complete than others, but many have the full set of genes that would be necessary for a complete retrovirus were they not faulty. We call these structures endogenous retroviruses, or ERVs. Unlike the case where each cell is individually infected, they appear in the exact same spots in the DNA of every single nuclear cell. Although certain components of some ERVs perform functions in the host, some even being essential in subspecies, no complete ERVs are functional. Design as an explanation for ERVs does not make any sense. A designer would have no need to include specifically retroviral genes in its designs, which now do nothing, or may even cause harm. There would also be no need to design in non-functional traces of the action of integrase, traces of which are present in ERVs. The only explanation that makes any sense is that ERVs are the result of retroviral insertions into germline DNA, egg cells and sperm cells, followed by reproduction and consequent cell division. Cell division will duplicate the ERVs in the same positions in the DNA of every cell. Separate parallel infection would not infect every cell, and the proviruses would end up in different locations, comparing one infected cell to another. All human beings have some 20,000, sorry, 200,000 ERV and ERV fragments in the DNA of every one of their cells. Most of them are in identical locations, going from cell to cell and from person to person. That means that we all share common ancestors, the ancestors that first acquired each of the germline retroviral integrations. All human beings and chimpanzees have some 200,000 ERV and ERV fragments in the DNA of every one of their cells. Most of them are in precisely corresponding DNA locations going from cell to cell and individual to individual. This means that we all share common ancestors, the ancestors that first acquired each of the germline retroviral infections. <laughs>